This show contains features that may offend some viewers. Viewer's discretion is advised. Hello everybody, welcome to Real Talk to the Outside Edition. Today is, our topic is called, not if there's anything wrong with that. Everybody wonders what we're trying to say. Now, you always hear on TV shows, like Seinfeld, um, and a couple of movies about gay people, and how they think they're gay, or rather they know that they're gay. They always say stuff like, but not that there's anything wrong with that. You know, that really pisses me off to the point where I want to punch. Because to tell you the truth, is because you don't have, number one, the authority to tell anybody or judge anybody about kind of what they are. Or about what they do or how they do things. You know, that is not right, number one. And number two, you have a bad habit of making people feel bad about themselves, even if they don't mean to grow that way. You know, they shouldn't even have to feel bad about being born that way, you know? Because if you grow up not straight, then you're not straight, okay? There's nothing you can do about that. There's nothing you can do about it, all right? There's nothing you can do about waking up one morning and knowing that you have an attraction to your own gender, whether you're a man or a woman, or you're attracted to, you're attracted to a man as a man, you're attracted to a woman as a woman. It doesn't matter. No matter what they find sex being, even if a guy likes it, doing it in the backside, it's nobody's business. Even if a girl likes to go down there to another girl, it's nobody's business. Because we have the authority to do it to judge ourselves, not the authority to judge other people. Because when you are judging other people, you're making yourself look like you're a real bad person. You're making yourself look as if you don't respect who they are. You know, they still have blood, red blood through our veins like we do. They still have the ability to have money like we do. They still have the ability to have a bad day or a good day like we do. And most of all, most of all, they have the ability to have sexual feelings for other people like we do too. Okay, for myself, I was grown straight. But you know what? Either I agree with being gay or not, having people gay or not, you know? That is not my problem to judge people, okay? Even if I had a best friend who was gay, or I was dating someone who was gay, like if I had a girlfriend or a friend that was gay, you know, that's not my problem to judge, is it? No. Okay, if I had a friend that was gay and then he tells me later, I would still be his best friend. Did you know why? It doesn't make them different from anybody else. All it does is just give them a different part of themselves that says, okay, you know, I'm gay, I'm attracted to the guys, I'm not attracted to women like you are, or a man like you are, whatever, okay? That's all it is. It doesn't make them a bad person. And people who think that really need to get that through their head, because why would anybody want to wake up in the morning and be upset because they're scared to tell people that they are what they are. You know, it's just like racism, okay? It's just like a stereotype. Being gay is a stereotype. 
because being gay, they can't do anything they want to do. They can't come out of the closet like they want to do. They can't because there's too much it assholes out there who want to basically judge you and hurt them with their words and even kill gays physically. Do you know what you, some of you people are doing to these gay people out there? Do you realize that? Do you realize you're hurting them badly? By name verbally, okay, for example, these are the exact three words I hate the most about people who are calling these, calling these names the gay people. For one, I hate the word faggot. Two, I hate the word queer. And three, I hate the word cocksucker. I'm sorry I'm saying these words on the broadcast, but you know what? It's true. These three words are not a meaning for a gay person. These words are a meaning for people who are just goddamn plain goofballs, who just want to hurt people. You know, I've heard and witnessed on the news people hurting gay people so bad that they kill them for just for being gay. Just for being gay. The only thing I can say is that, you know, <laughs> the only thing I can tell everybody is that I really don't agree with this. I really wish this would stop. You know, if people could agree with, start agreeing with racism, could start agreeing with immigrants in the country, they can have the abilities to agree with gay people too. Gay people have the ability to do whatever they want too. Not just, what, if you're straight you can do this, and if you're not straight you can't do this. You know, who the fuck are you people to judge on that? That's right. Not none of you. Not even myself. So, the only thing I'm trying to say is, is that if you people, or to the people who are having this issue, who are gay, just want to let you know, if you have any emails about this com about this show, please email me at gpbesceoaustin at gmail.com, alright? Or reach me by Facebook or by Twitter at Austin Bullock GP. Okay? And anybody else who is not gay and they have any questions on this series, please do the same. Okay? Anyways, that was Real Talk, episode 19, the last episode of season 2. Okay? So thank you for joining me on this beautiful day for Real Talk. Okay? Have an awesome day. And remember, being gay is not a bad thing. All right. Thank you. If all of the target audience enjoyed uh, Real Talk, please don't hesitate to honestly please give me your thoughts on the episodes or give me any new topics that you'd like to see in the other upcoming episodes for Real Talk. And anybody who does, please reach us at our email at gpbesceoaustin at gmail.com and we will be soon to reply to you and give you the upcoming topic that you've always wanted to hear. Thank you.